Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Shalom and salutations to the brothers doing the works in sincerity and truth across the four corners of the earth. Now, the quick script I'm about to get into is uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 11. No uh, correction or punishment for the present time seems joyous, all right? And, and it reads uh, Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous. But grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. That's right. Now, no punishment or chastising from the Heavenly Father seems to be joyous, man. Because there's a situation even where I went off and the Lord judged me quick, quickly and swiftly. And that situation, it, it wasn't joyous, you know. Um, there's a situation where I was uh, traveling. And driving without uh, no registration and no license and the Lord chastised me quick he um, you know I got pulled over and then um, they, they, they took my car away they impounded my car you know but the Lord had enough mercy upon me to whereas I had got a car the week before and um, I was still able to uh, get to and fro to work and to and fro to camp and so the Lord didn't have it to where I was uh, dry and I wasn't able to serve the Lord but at the present time, when I was going through that affliction, it, it was grievous unto me. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for other brothers throughout the uh, camps that's out there doing this work. Because the Lord could be chastising you, whether it's through ailments, you know, where you're uh, spiritually grieved or uh, mentally grieved or even physically going through the, uh, the infirmities that the Lord may place upon you. All right? Let me uh, read it again. And um, nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit. Of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Now, right now, through the certain situation where I went through, um, it, it was just a trial of my faith because not, not driving without uh, registration and insurance can lead up to a uh, one year and um, one year suspension of your driver's license and also uh, points on your license and, and a heavy fine. And, and I got the information from somebody who went through that certain circumstance and that's what happened unto him. So I was thinking about, you know, me losing my uh, license. I'm thinking about not being able to drive to camp or if I have to pick a brother up or even going to and fro to work. That was uh, something that was dwelling on my mind. But having these scriptures, having this knowledge, having trust and faith in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, I was able to prevail through that because on the day of my uh, court, um, I, put, I put up a quick prayer to the Heavenly Father um, and I asked for him to deliver me out of this situation, not for me to get points, not for my uh, fine to be uh, uh, too heavy to wear as I can't pay it and not to get my license suspended. I, I cried unto the Lord uh, for that and, and, and he delivered me. And, and it was beautiful because the prosecutor actually uh, just asked me, the Lord put the spirit upon him. He's like, well, do you have your insurance now? I'm like, yeah. So I showed him my insurance. He was like, all right, now I'm going I'm to I'm I'm do you a favor. I'm going um, to make it to believe, whereas you just didn't have your insurance card on you on that day. And if it was up to, uh, if, if anything, you punched me, you would have been walking for a year. I was, so basically, I would have um, got my license suspended for a year. And he said also that um, I'm not going to get any points upon you. And your fine is just going to be uh, $278. I'm like, beautiful. All right, I could, I could take that. I appreciate it, whatever. But, you know, uh, I knew in an instant that that was uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, going back to the uh, Proverbs 18 and 10, man. The Lord's name is a strong tower. The righteous run in, runneth into it and are safe. And, and, and that's very true, man. Because I put the Heavenly Father's name up. I put that prayer up. And he delivered me throughout that tribulation. And I was able to... Uh, I'm able now to uh, have my license. The fine wasn't too heavy, you know, and I'm still able to do the Lord's will. All right. But I'll just read it again just to close out the uh, quick script. Um, it says, now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit 
of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. That's right. So that's the Heavenly Father, man. He's going to exercise you by um, going through you going through those tribulations, man. And the, uh, the peaceable fruit which yielded in my situation was faith, man. It boosted up my faith to a whole nother echelon. And that's what uh, uh, the Lord is trying all the men out there that's doing this work in sincerity and truth. He's going to try them and build them up so they be able to withstand the latter day, man, and the hour of martial law. Now, I hope this lesson was a uh, well, quick script, was edifying for brothers, you know, across the four corners of the earth that may see it. All right. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Salam and salutations to the brothers doing the works in sincerity and truth. Shalom, death to America. Shalom, Mishrael. I'd like to say all praise and glory be to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Shalom to the men out there pushing in true sincerity. Okay, and, um, so no chastening seems to be joyous. All right, and it's... Uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and 11. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Right, so doing this truth, you got to be exercised through these different trials, tribulations, and afflictions, man. To say what? For no chastening at the present seem to be joyous, but grievous. You know, like for instance, you know, you know, uh, you could go through a situation with your Eve, you know what I'm saying? You know, especially like when you're first coming into the truth, you know? You come into this truth, you're a different man. So now your woman don't truly know who you are anymore, you know? Because the scriptures say that what? Uh, if any man being Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. So we become new persons, new beings when we come into this truth. So you could come into this truth and, and still have your Eve that you have from the world. Then all of a sudden, she starts shitting on you. You know what I'm saying? For months on top of months, shitting on you. But you're dealing with that. You're being exercised through through that affliction and what she's putting you through. You know what I'm saying? And you constantly doing all the hell. She may be kicking up against you, constantly talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing what the black women typically do. You know what I'm saying? Not want to deal with you on, on, on a physical tip. You know what I'm saying? Not giving, not trying to give you that due benevolence. You know what I'm saying? But what? You could be in a down and out situation. No job, you know what I'm saying? Trying to find a job, but you embedded in these scriptures, trying to build yourself up on the utmost faith, man. So you could be going through that, enduring that, and then what? The most high start what? Hardening you up to a woman so that you won't be so susceptible to a woman anymore, you know? So that he will build you up so that you won't be that weak unto a woman and that you won't give your power over unto a woman, you know? And then what? Afterward, it gives that peaceable fruit by you being exercised by it. So what? You enduring all that chastening, and then once you finally, you've been embedding yourself in these scriptures, and then once you finally pick yourself up, you know what I'm saying? You got it in your mind, I don't need no woman. So you build yourself up. Now she try to come back, crawling back to you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really on it like that now, you know what I'm saying? Because what? You've been exercised through those afflictions, so that builds you up, and that yielded the peaceable fruit. So you going through those trials and tribulations with that woman, exercise your faith, exercise your endurance in a certain level, in a certain area, now you have the peaceable fruit. So now what you hard on a woman now. So now you won't be susceptible to fall into a woman, man. Because we know it's real easy to get uh, off track by the powers of a woman, man. And Solomon proved that, man. There's various scriptures that prove that, man. So that's how you can be uh, yield the peaceable fruit of being exercised through a certain trial, tribulation, or an affliction, man. So, you know what I mean? Be joyous for the uh, things that we go through. You know what I mean? Even though what? They seem to be grievous, but afterward, you know what I mean? You should come out with some substance from that child tribulation or affliction. You should gain a jewel of wisdom, a piece of knowledge, and some experience and knowing how to deal with that situation in further times, man. So with that, I'd like to say, all praise and glory. Be to Yahweh Ba Shemi Shai. Double one is to the elders of GMS. Shalom to the out there pushing truth sincerity. Shalom, death to America.